So hey guys, today we're going to be making a dessert. Please overlook the dishwasher sound. I have dishes washing here and Gracie's playing. So all the normal, but it's like an apple pie dessert, but you're putting it kind of like a cobbler in a way. You have, you need very minimal things. So you need a little bit of milk, not much. You need a can of these biscuits. It doesn't matter what kind you use. This is just the kind that Kroger, I think this is Kroger brand. I'm not sure, but just a can of biscuits. This makes 10 biscuits. Um, you're going to need a can of this apple pie filling. You're going to need some cinnamon and you're going to need some powdered sugar. That's literally all you're going to need. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your biscuits out of the can. You're going to cut each biscuit up in four, like cut it in four and throw all the biscuits in this pan. Then we're going to take the apple pie filling and we're going to dump it on top of the biscuits and we're going to stir it together. So let me get that far and I'll be go. right back. We got back. the biscuits cut up, all 10 biscuits cut up in four sections of four, like just straight, you know, wide and long ways. Four pieces out of one biscuit is what I'm trying to say. Now we have the apple pie filling. We're going to dump it in here. I'm probably going to have to use a spoon. Yeah, let me set you guys down and do that. What we got, I just mixed all the biscuits and the apples together to get the biscuits lathered good and the juices from the apples. And then I took my ground cinnamon and I sprinkled it over the top. Now you're going to put it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure you keep check on it. You want to make sure that your biscuits are getting done around uh, like evenly. So if you see that some of your biscuits on one side is getting done before the other, then just turn your, your casserole dish until everything starts to kind of even out and get done together. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make the drizzle. Right, for the drizzle, you're just gonna need a half a cup of your powdered sugar and then you're gonna need about two tablespoons of your milk. And you're literally just gonna stir that together and it's gonna make the same kind of drizzle that you put on top of cinnamon. Okay, I have my drizzle made, that's all, I'm, that's all you had to do. Now, I am actually gonna make a little bit more drizzle than this because I want more drizzle. So I'm gonna probably put about another fourth of a cup of sugar powdered sugar and another, I don't know, I would say one tablespoon of milk to make more drizzle for my dessert. When it comes out of the oven, you're going to pour this drizzle over the top of it. You're going to let it cool for, I don't know, I'd say maybe five minutes or so, and then serve it. You can even put some ice cream over it. So once it's done, I'll show you what the finished product looks like, and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and please make sure your notifications are turned on so you guys um, we'll know when I upload more videos. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned to see the finished um, Dessert once this it comes what out. It looks like after it came out of the oven I just took a fork and kind of pulled the biscuits apart to make sure that they weren't doughy still and they're all cooked um, It did take more than 20 um, It took more like 30 minutes for me and I did have to rotate my dish like three different times because as you guys can see, the corners that were sticking up out of were getting browner, but that's completely fine. It just makes it even better. But I wanted to make sure that they were getting that way all the way around. So now I'm just going to take my drizzle and I'm going to put it on top, which I can't do holding the camera. So I'll Here's come back. the final dish. It looks so good. I can't wait to eat it and try it. I'll try to leave like a little, I don't know, like caption or something in this video or check the description box to how we liked it. I'm making dinner, so we can't exactly try it right now. It's going to be a dessert after dinner. But like I said, if you want to know how we liked it, check the description box or I'll put something that pops up on the screen to let you guys know how we liked it. So that's what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you make this or if you have made something like this in the past. I think this would be really good with peaches too. Um, kind of like a cobbler. I think that would be really good. But anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye-bye.